we have seen a lot of foreign travel, which is wasteful. MCAs who go in large groups to foreign countries, there is totally no accountability. They do not produce any reports on what they have learned from where they went and such like things. We have seen distortion of car reimbursement. You find somebody bringing a 13-year-old car and saying they, they paid 4 million shillings. So generally, looking at the way the requisitions are made, you can see a deliberate effort to defraud public funds. I have seen ghost projects and ghost pays as I carry out this particular uh, mandate. So what have we done about it? Because as an office, with the few staff that I have, we have to do something at least to mitigate. Although we can't say that it is 100% successful. So we have drawn up templates, templates that follow the law to guide those who are requisitioning the funds to ask for the funds in a certain format. These formats are in line with the Public Finance Management uh, Act and regulations and are also in line with other laws like the Income Tax Act, like, uh, um, I mean, I could, I could say many others. But we have picked all the respective laws and put them in form of a template. And we tell our clients, please put your requisition in this form. Do you think they do that? It's a fight every single day, the source of our corruption. <laughs>